welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today's video is a fun one because I am finally doing a an area of the house that I've never done before. Today I am doing kitchen slash kind of dining room decor, more kitchen focused for sure. I've never thought to do it on my channel, mainly because I do not know how to cook, which kind of changes today because I am very excited to announce that this video is in partnership with HelloFresh, which I've actually worked with them in the past and I absolutely love their service, but I'll touch on them a little later on in the video. So I have been cooking a bit more. I wanted to create some more fun decor and just like a more inviting space in my kitchen. So today I have four really fun DIY and like organizational hacks for you guys that are kitchen and like dining room whatever you want to do like breakfast nook wherever you want to put these items that are in your personal apartment or whatever you can alter them to your liking and i think you guys are going to love them there's one actually right here that i want to share with you guys <laughs> that was so scary and there's one project right here that's all the sneak peek you get that I think you guys are going to love. Like I'm obsessed with the outcome of all the projects in this video. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new DIY and home decor content every single week. And you can also follow me on Lone Fox Home on Instagram, which is right here. And I think we should just get into today's projects. Let's kick things off and keep it super simple. We're starting off with the flight organizers, um, the cardboard organizers, and I'm also gonna be using some cardstock, white paint, and a paintbrush. But the thing that I love about these is that you get them at Ikea in like the office section, and they're only $1.49 for five of them. So super, super affordable. It's like a quarter each almost, and I'm constructing them. It's super easy. The instructions are on the bottom. You just literally pop a tab in and you are good to go. So I wanted to use these and just make them a little bit more cutesy for the kitchen space. So I'm taking a bit of cardstock and I'm using white white paint to create a almost like chalkboard effect, a little bit of a modern rustic farmhouse vibe. And I'm writing out the word cookbook right here. So each of these is going to be used to organize something new in my kitchen, whether it be cookbooks, trash bags, cleaners, whatever you want to put in them. There's a lot of space in each, which is something that I also love. Um, so you get a good amount of storage for only $1.49 because imagine having to go and buy different storage bins for each of these. You're going to at least spend at least one to two dollars on each storage container. So you are essentially getting five here for a super affordable price. So next what I'm doing is going with my scissors and I'm just cutting roughly around the outside. You can definitely measure this out with a ruler, but I am much more of a freehand type of person. And once you have each of your labels cut out, I went in and used white paint just to go around the edge and add a border. And if you do want it to look a little bit more clean and sophisticated, um, I wanted mine to look a little bit rustic, very modern farmhouse looking. Um, I just went in with white paint, but you can also use like a white jelly roller or a white pen of your choice to make it look a little bit cleaner, but I just love the way that these turned out. So once they were all done and cut, I used a little bit of glue just to glue them onto the front top of each of these. And I opted to glue them over the top of the hole because I thought the hole could be purposeful if you want to pull out the entire container that has all of your goodies inside of it. So next, all you have to do is just pop these into any drawer. Um, I just opened up a cabinet and popped them inside. They fit perfectly in cabinets and they store so much, which is amazing and nice. So this is the finished little hack. Jumping into the second project, I am using this little plate stand from Ikea along with a wooden board, some screw hooks, and a little saw. So this is purchased from Ikea for a couple of dollars, and I'm just going to be using my saw to cut off one side of the little hooks. This is essentially meant to be put in a drawer or something, and it's supposed to hold your plates upright, but I wanted to use it to hold wine glasses on the bottom of a shelf. So I got this wood plank at Michael's. I've had it in my stash for a while, and I'm using some quick hold like concrete adhesive to glue this down and also when you place it down just make sure to put something underneath it to hold it while it dries and I let that cured and dry completely overnight before moving on to my next step and wine glasses fit perfectly in these little slots so I got these shelf hooks at the dollar store actually in one of my past dollar store videos and I just saved them I sprayed them with some matte black spray paint and I ended up also spraying my little hooks with the matte black spray paint and I just screwed those in because um, I didn't want the whole other side to be like randomly placed so I screwed these in for additional hanging purposes if you want to add some utensils or like your bottle opener or whatever you want to put on these. I thought it was just a cute little like wine station to put your wine bottles on top of and you can have your cups underneath. Um, and I actually just placed it on the wall and had my friend hold it for me because I want to gift it to my friend that loves wine. I'm not a huge wine lover myself. So that's why I'm just holding it up to share with you guys the finished project. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, it is time to share today's video partner, which is HelloFresh. And if you have never heard of HelloFresh before, I've actually worked with them multiple times. I am absolutely obsessed with their company. They deliver amazing, incredible meals to your door every single week where you don't have to spend any time at the grocery store. You get all the ingredients you need. So there's absolutely no waste. And also on top of that, minimal cleanup, 30 minute meals, super quick and easy. And you can choose from three different options, including classic, veggie, or the family plan. I actually chose the classic plan because I just love a good classic meal. And to be completely honest with you guys, I am not huge into cooking. And that is mainly because I hate going to the grocery store and buying so much ingredients and only using a little bit and having so much go to waste. So I absolutely love how you just get everything you need to make a full on meal, which is my favorite part. And it's also super easy and it's really fun and quick, which I also do love as well. Today, I decided to make the Monterey Jack Melty Burgers, which were incredible along with like the uh, panko breaded zucchini, which is also freaking amazing. And it was so simple and easy to make. I've actually never made a burger in my life before. This was the first one I made. So I'm very excited with how it turned out. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. So you can get the most meal for your money and you actually can get eight free meals, which is two in your first four boxes by going to hellofresh.com and using my code LONEFOX to get a total of $80 off your first month. If you guys are at all curious, the link is in the description box below. I was not gonna film myself eating once I finished making the food. I was gonna show you the final product and then like, you know, eat it off camera. But this is so good. I am scared. Like, and I'm a chef. I am a chef. I am a chef. I'm a DIYer and a chef. Oh, oh God. Okay, let's get back to the projects. So I'm gonna be using the Mulger bathroom storage from Ikea to create the cutest ever kitchen cart slash little kitchen island, bar cart, whatever you wanna use it for. And I found this in the bathroom section at Ikea. I thought it would be perfect, perfect, perfect. And what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna be spray painting some of the panels of this uh, cart. So I'm gonna share with you guys which one's using a Sharpie. I'm just gonna be doing the outside edges in the black and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm also gonna be spraying some of these little screw in hooks as well. And I'm using a matte farmhouse black spray paint from Rust-Oleum and it has a primer in it as well. I got this at Michael's for just a couple of dollars if you use a coupon. It's an amazing, amazing spray paint. And I love how it said farmhouse in the title. So that's why I got it. And basically I used it and I just sprayed across all of these surfaces. And I also picked up these four little wooden pieces from Michael's as well. And I think they're little frames or little trays. They're just a dollar each, but I'm actually gonna be using them as legs on the cart when we're completely done. And once each section is dry, just flip it and spray it once again. You're gonna be spraying them on all four sides and I only had to do one coat total. I didn't do two coats at all. This was a great quality spray paint and I think it turned out amazing. And then I went and laid out all of my pieces and just assembled the cart. I'm not gonna share how I assembled it just because everyone knows how to assemble IKEA furniture. You have to follow the instructions. So I followed the instructions and saved you guys the time of not watching me assemble it. And then once I was done, I used some of my quick dry cement adhesive and I just glued on all of these legs. I opted to create legs as opposed to the wheels just because I I feel like the wheels can make it look a little bit more cheap um, and I wanted it to look a little bit more expensive. So that's why I opted to add the legs instead of the wheels. I also purchased an Ikea cutting board. This was just a $10 cutting board and I screwed in hooks on either side of one end of the cutting board because I wanted to make this cart really functional. So I put the little hooks on the cart side and I also screwed in two more. So that way we can create a hanging cutting board that can be removed and placed back on. And it's just a storage saver and it's also super functional. So the cutting board just hangs on the side there. I ended up placing this little cart in the breakfast nook area and I think it looks so good. You guys, this is probably one of my favorite DIYs that I've ever created. And I ended up styling it with some plates and just basic kitchen essentials. And that finishes off this kitchen cart upcycle. Definitely saving one of the best for last. I'm gonna be using some foam board, cardstock, a ruler, X-Acto knife, magnets, and also some glue. And what I started off by doing was actually using Photoshop. And I use these Polaroids, which I'm gonna link below in case you are curious about the Polaroid that I use. It's just an image I found on um, Google. And basically what I did was I went onto Pinterest and I just screenshotted a lot of images that I really liked that I thought would look pretty inside of a Polaroid frame. And I ended up inserting them inside of the Polaroids on Photoshop. But you can also do this on any online Photoshop 
sort of service. And I just put them inside of the Polaroids. I created eight of them and I made them really miniature. That way I was able to print them. And I made sure that my Photoshop file was eight and a half by 11. I then went ahead and printed them out and used an X-Acto knife and a ruler just to cut them out. I just guided myself along the lines using the ruler as a guide. Once they're all cut out, I went to my foam board and I cut out the same exact size as the Polaroid frames of foam. So basically what I did was I laid one down, I measured it, and then I repeated the process of cutting out eight total pieces of the foam that measured the same exact size as our Polaroids because we want them to have a little bit of thickness and a little bit of something substantial to them so they're not just a piece of paper on a magnet. And then I used some fabric glue. Um, I just like this fabric glue. It works on every surface, honestly. And I glued down each of my Polaroids on top. And guys, I also forgot to mention that I did actually print out these Polaroids on a cardstock as opposed to printer paper. So they were a bit thicker. You just have to put the cardstock through your printer as opposed to the printer paper. So I just glued all these down on top, making sure they were nice and flush and clean. And when you're completely done, all you have to do is flip them over and add a magnet on the back. Magnets are super affordable. So honestly, I thought this would be such a cute housewarming gift for someone if you were to print out their personal photos from their Instagram or just really pretty images and make them a set of magnets magnets for their refrigerator. I want to mention that this idea was also inspired by Pop Sugar. I thought it was such a cute one and I wanted to recreate some. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed those projects in this video, the DIYs and also the organizational hacks. Let me know which ones were your favorite in the comment section below. The kitchen is kind of a space that's a little bit harder to DIY for because everything that's in the kitchen is very purposeful and meaningful. You know, like it's not much decor. It's a lot more things that serve purpose. So I hope that some of these projects gave you guys some inspiration for organization or DIYs that you could do in your kitchen space. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and make sure to check out HelloFresh. I'll link them in the description box below for you guys, of course. And also subscribe to my channel for new DIY and home decor videos every single week. But I will not keep you guys for any longer. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.